Okay, so today we're going to look at reassigning these preset buttons on the ONN 4K Pro remote so that they do different things. I mean, at the moment, if I push the YouTube button on there, surprise, surprise, it opens up YouTube. If I hit the Netflix button, it will open up Netflix. And I've also got Disney and Paramount Plus too. So, but I want to reassign these to do different tasks. So today we're going to look at how we do that. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go across to apps over there, go down to search for apps and games, middle button, and then on the on-screen keyboard, I'm going to type button space mapper. So it's button space mapper. And once we've typed that in, just as it's shown on the screen, go down to the magnifying glass in the bottom right hand corner of the keyboard, middle button. And then what we're looking for is we're looking for this one to the far left, button mapper, remap your keys. And it's got those logos. It's got a double box, an arrow, a speaker and a home or a picture of a house. So make sure that's highlighted. Middle button and then middle button again to install. It's now installing. Hopefully shouldn't take too long. There you go. Now it's installed. We've got open and uninstall. So make sure that opens highlighted middle button on the remote. And here it says start accessibility service. Please go to system settings, accessibility and enable the button mapper accessibility service. The service is used to detect when buttons are pressed on your device so they can be remapped. If there are no accessibility settings, go to setup.buttonmapper.app for more info. So let's just press the middle button and let's go to accessibility. So where are we going to find that? That is likely to be in system middle button. And then you've got accessibility at the top and we want to scroll down until we get to button mapper. And at the moment, as you can see, that's switched off. So middle button and then I need to press the middle button again to enable it. And then it says use button mapper. Button mapper can collect all of the text you type except passwords. This includes personal data such as credit card numbers. So we're OK. This is in the Play Store, so it's perfectly safe. It's been checked. It's been verified. There is nothing dodgy going on here. So select OK. So the next thing I want to do is I want to reassign instead of the Netflix button opening Netflix, I want it to open, say, for instance, the BBC iPlayer. I'm going to go down to add buttons there, middle button, and then I'm going to go down again to the second add buttons, press the middle button on the remote and it says press button to add. So this is the button we want to change. I'm going to press the Netflix button. So that's labeled button four. I'm going to go down to button four, press the middle button on the remote. And here it says pro features are reserved for supporters of the app. Upgrading to pro unlocks all features and themes. Now you don't have to upgrade to pro to do this, but if you find it useful, it's worthwhile doing it to support the developer in his development of the app. So I'm going to go to no thanks for the moment, middle button. And then what I want to do is I want to turn on customize, go down to customize, middle button. Here we can select what happens when we do a single tap of this button. So I want to sign it to BBC iPlayer. Let's just with single tap highlighted, middle button on the remote control. Normally here, Actions is selected when we first open this. As you can see, you've got all the different actions you can reassign that button to, but we don't want actions. What we want to do is we want to go up to the arrow just up there in the top right hand corner, just to the right of actions, middle button. And then we want to go down to applications, middle button. And here, as I say, I want to select BBC iPlayer. Let's just select it, middle button, and then let's just go back, back again, back again, and just keep coming out of this until we get back to the main menu. And then I'm going to test this out. So I'm going to press Netflix and let's see. And there we are. It's opened the BBC iPlayer. Now, what if I want to assign something to other buttons? So let's just go back into Button Mapper. So I'm just going down to your apps and then across to Button Mapper. 
go into add buttons again. Say if I want to reassign the Disney Plus button to something else. Let's go add buttons. Press the button I want to add or reassign. So that's going to be the Disney Plus button. So that is button nine. That's what it's assigned to. That's what it's added. I remembered from before button four was added when I pressed the Netflix button. So we've got button nine now. So highlight button nine, middle button. And again, I've got this warning here about pro features. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go across to no thanks. And then I'm going to say, right, a single tap of that button, go into single. Oh, sorry, I've got to turn customize on first. So highlight customize, middle button to turn it on and then go to single tap. And if applications aren't shown on the screen there, then press the, uh, the downward arrow and select applications from there. So I'm going to uh, select, let's see, what, what shall I select? I'm going to select Wolf Launcher as being assigned to the Disney Plus button. That's a side loaded app wolf launcher. So this will be a good test to see whether side loaded apps work on this. So let's just come back out of this, come right the way out and let's just press the Disney Plus button and see what happens. There you go, wolf launcher. But what if I want to do a dual or a try action on one of these? So let's just go back to uh, your apps and then across to button mapper and go into that and go back to add buttons. So I'm gonna go back to button four, which was Netflix. Okay, let's just go into Netflix or button four, and I'm gonna say no thanks to this. So let's just set an action for a double tap. So that is like you're double tapping a mouse button, a left mouse button. So let's go into double tap. And as a double tap, I am going to select ITVX. OK, so at the moment, a single tap is BBC iPlayer, a double tap is ITVX. And let's set the long press as well and see what I'm So a long press is when you hold it down. So I'm going to set the long press to open downloader. Let's just set that. As you can see there, downloader has been set to the long press. Let's just go back and go back to the main screen. So OK, so double press, two presses quickly that opens ITVX. If I do a long press, so if I hold it down, that opens Downloader, but it does quickly go to Netflix. The long press doesn't work, certainly not on the ONN 4K Pro. I don't know if that's a bug in the actual device itself, but no, definitely doesn't work. Never mind, a single press and a double press does work. So if I want to remove these buttons. If I want to set them back to what they originally were, then I go back into button mapper, go into add buttons, go down to the button I want to restore back to the original setting and just go across to the bin over there on the right middle button. That removes it. OK, I've got button nine, which is Disney Plus still assigned to Wolf Launcher. I'm going to keep that assigned for the moment. Let's uh, go back. Just make sure that Netflix now loads Netflix. Yep, it does. And let's just see if Disney Plus still loads Wolf Launcher. Yes, it does. Now you can obviously do loads of other great things with Button Mapper. You can change the mappings for volume up, volume down. You can go to add buttons and add any other buttons on here. But do be careful what buttons you do choose. Don't go choosing something like the home button, because if you end up making that do something else, you might never, ever be able to get back to the home screen. I would suggest be on the safe side and just reassign either one of these four buttons down here. But not only can you reassign them, as I say, to opening apps as well, you can also allow it to do certain actions. So if I go into customize there, turn it on, go to single tap and change this to actions. Say, for instance, we've got there no action. So nothing happens. A default action. We can change it to the home button, the back button, the recents button, show menu, open camera. But then these devices don't have cameras on. Turn screen off. So make it go to sleep. You've got a toggle flashlight, but this is more for a phone because we don't have a flashlight. Take a screenshot, go into system settings, select or enter, enter last app, 
keep screen on which is a professional only feature voice typing which again is a, a, a professional only feature power dialogue assistant scroll up scroll down copy cut paste headset button so you've got quite a few different actions you can select on here you've also got a section here for shortcuts as well and you've got system so if you want to go to a, uh, a system setting like notifications or invert the colors change the keyboard you can do that but these are more functions really for a mobile phone than a tv box you've also got media there so media buttons so you've got previous track next track play pause which is something you don't actually have on this remote control is a play pause button but in most cases you can use the middle button as your play pause button uh, you've got stop record fast forward again this is something you don't have is a fast forward and a rewind button so perhaps you could set some of these keys on here as a fast forward and rewind but in most cases again you can use the left and right hand side of the ring of the remote control i believe to skip forward and to rewind so there we go a great app for you with loads of functions there to change these buttons and really any button on the remote but obviously do be careful what button you do change because you could end up with loads of problems if you end up changing a critical button be very very careful when assigning these well i hope you like this video and if you did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or have a look down below have a look i've got links down there there's my amazon shop there's links to fire tv sticks fire tv cubes fire stick accessories and vpns buying subscribing and donating really does help support this channel it helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos and whilst you're at my youtube channel why not stick around i've got thousands of other videos for you right here right now covering all sorts of subjects hopefully whilst you're here you're going to find something to educate you entertain you amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money and if whilst you're looking through these videos you see something that you think your friends your family or your work colleagues might like to see then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines if you want to check me out on x i'm at cwtek also, have a look at my website. It's cwtek.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.